Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the future tense. So far, we've learned the present tense and past tense. Well, the future tense is used for talking about anything that will happen in the future. So the sentence, I go to Billy's house could become, I will go to Billy's house. Or Billy ate kimchi could become, Billy will eat kimchi. Did you watch that movie could become, will you watch that movie? And I teach Korean could become, I will teach Korean. Now, before I talk about how to make the future tense, I should say that you might not always need the future tense. And the present tense, as we've already learned, can kind of function like the future tense already. For example, the sentence, 내일 파티에 가요. Tomorrow I go to the party, or more naturally, just tomorrow I will go to the party. However, whenever you want to emphasize that you will do something and that you're not already doing it, use the future tense. So here's an example of when you might want to use the future tense instead of just the present tense. 파티에 가요. I go to the party. Or this could mean, I will go to the party. Now, without using the future tense, this sentence could mean either. So you might want to use the future tense in this case to say that it's not happening today. We can make the future tense by using the grammar form koshida. To do it, just get a verb stem. Then attach ö if it ends in a consonant, or attach lir if it ends in a vowel. And finally, attach koshida and conjugate ida. This will become ieyo. Note that koshida is just from the words kot meaning thing and ida meaning to be. And since kot is more often shortened to just ko, this could instead become koeyo. For example, kada could become kal koeyo. And mokda could become mogul koeyo. Here are two sentence examples. Oje sonseng nimul mannasoyo. I met the teacher yesterday. Neil sonseng nimul mannal koeyo. I will meet the teacher tomorrow. Let's talk a little bit more about that verb ida to be. In the future tense, ida becomes il koyo, just like normal. For example, neil e moimun yogi il koyo. Tomorrow's meeting will be here. However, il koyo cannot be used to say that you or any noun will become something. For example, you couldn't use il koyo to say that you will become, be a teacher or an astronaut when you get older. We'll learn how to say to become with a different verb in a later lesson. All right, so now I want to have you do some practice on your own. Here are six sentences that are written with the present tense. I want you to change them all to the future tense. You can pause the video here until you're ready and then click resume. Here are the answers. 내일 현우 씨도 초대할 거예요. Tomorrow, I will also invite Hyunu. Billy 씨도 아주 건강할 거예요. Billy also will be very healthy. 저는 너무 바쁠 거예요. I will be too busy. 저도 차를 많이 마실 거예요. I will also drink a lot of tea. 이제 가방을 살수 있을 거예요. Now I will be able to buy a bag. 저는 제 방에 갈 거예요. I will go to my room. 내일 현우 씨도 초대할 거예요. 빌리 씨도 아주 건강할 거예요. 저는 너무 바쁠 거예요. 저도 차를 많이 마실 거예요. 이제 가방을 살수 있을 거예요. 저는 제 방에 갈 거예요. There is an exception when you're using this future tense 거시다 with verb stems that end with a piup or with a lir. If the verb stem ends with a piup, you're going to remove that first and then attach u followed by lir and then koshida as usual. For example, chukda would become chur goyo. Or if the verb stem ends with a lir, you'll simply attach koeyo. 
So, 팔다 would become 팔 거예요. And there are more verbs with conjugation exceptions as there are for any rule, and I'll explain those later as they come up. But before we go, a quick note about using the honorific verb ending 으시다. In the future tense, this will become 으실 거예요 when it comes after a consonant, or just 실 거예요 when it comes after a vowel. Here are two examples. 우리 할머니도 중국어를 공부하실 거예요. My grandmother also will study Chinese. 선생님은 나가실 거예요. Will the teacher go outside? And we'll do more practice with this 으시다 ending in later lessons. So, in this lesson, we've now finished learning about the future tense, as well as how to use the honorific ending in the future tense, and some exceptions with using it. So, practice everything in this lesson, and I'll see you again next time. 그럼, 다음에 또 봐!